Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I'm going to turn on just another light because why not have 50 lights? Um, I have a Country Craft Creations um, launch. It's a new brand that they're carrying in the store and online and this light is not working. Um, and I can't even put the box up here because it's so gigantic. So... Hold on, you guys, just bear with me. But this is going to be a video all on picket fence. So I'm just gonna open everything. I have not even like gotten into this to play because I wanna do the unboxing with you guys. Now there's so much, I probably won't be able to do like product reviews during this video, but we'll see. But. If there's something specifically you guys want to know about, let me know in the comments. And oh my gosh, yay! Um, and I will see what I can do. Okay, so I'm taking this out of the bag. This was one of my favorites. So again, all of this is Picket Fence. We met with them. They are an amazing um, family that owns the company, and they were at Creativation. And there's still a lot more things um, that they have to offer. And so this is their three, what is that? Three and 15, three and three again. Three, 15, 15, 16. <laughs> you can't even talk. It's too late to be doing videos. Yeah, almost four, four inches. Let's just say that. <laughs> And it says by 50. This thing is massive. And okay, the main reason, like, I love, 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 love this. Let's see what I have in my room that's not upstairs already. Mm, well, let me just show you it like this example. So, you guys know I like to do a lot of like cut aparts on my covers, and I like to pop them up. I, I hate popping up things this big with the little squares, that's terrible. So I'll usually use chipboard or something, but now I can use this. And you guys know that this will last you. This is gonna last you, but look how big it's white. And then we have this one here in black. So there you go. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's a must have. When we were showing it on live, other people were saying they have some and they love it. So I had to get it. Okay. And oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. I don't even know where to start. Okay. And then there is this here. I probably should look up like official titles. Is it on here? Yes, it is. Stamp pressure tool. So you have this. So like if you have a stamp down or even not with your misty, this really helps. Especially like for me, who've been in, I've been in retail for a trillion years. So um, sometimes I get tarp carpal tunnel just because of carrying all the clothes from all the fitting rooms from all those messy people in the fitting room just saying um, and this really helps plus you could just play some air hockey on your table because why not so I love this love 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 and then I don't know if these are online Tamara might be getting them in but they showed us these and they're awesome plus they're adorable sometimes you just gotta have some you know cute adorable things for the crafty space but these would also be like great gifts this would be a great gift um you know if you're doing swaps or anything like that but this is um it's called a rainbow desk trivet but basically it's heat resistant so they had us use it um we did some stamping um and it was wet so we put our card front on here had our heat tool and we're able to do that but you can put your glue gun on here 
and it's just adorable. They should come out one like in pastels so though. I would say that come out with the primaries, which is a must have, and then a pastel option, because why not have some cutesy options, right? Okay. Oh, I mean, I'm literally bending down into, I don't know, this is gonna be, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? Because there's so much fun stuff in here. Like seriously, you guys, look at all this. All of these, all of these things. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to open that. Ah, I think I need some test paper. Test paper, test paper. Okay, I'm gonna wait for those. Let's see what we have in here. And if you have any of this already, please, as always, let me know what you think of the product. What's your favorite? And if you don't, are you gonna get some? Hopefully these survived the shipping. Oh my gosh, these are, wow, these are pretty colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, so one is ki Kiwi Lime. This one is Liquid Purple Tulip. And these are Paper Splatter Watercolors. So I'm, I'm going to go crazy. And I'm going to test out one of these because I just want to see how they are. I am not prepared to test out anything. So you guys are going to have to give me a second to, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's kind of scooter and it fell open. That really fell open. Okay, hold on. I just want to make sure this is actually closed. Are they like a medicine bottle? <laughs> I don't know if I know how to get these things off. Oh, yeah, kind of, sort of. They don't stink. Okay. Is this one loose? Yeah, they're all loose. I think it's like, I think it's child proof or Tiffany proof. Okay, we have all these pretty colors. All the pretty colors. Oh my gosh. And then you're going to have, let's hook these up this way so you guys can actually see the pretties. I will have like a demo day to play with all this goodness. But this is first just showing you guys some of the products. Oh my goodness, these colors. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh, so pretty. Okay, so right now I have lots of bubble wrap for my die cutter. You guys know I like bubble wrap on my die cutter. <laughs> so we have, right now, we have um, Pink Blossom, Liquid Gold, Turquoise Blue, said those two. This one is Christmas Red. Oh my gosh, these are fun. Um, Hydrangea Blue, Christmas Green, Yellow Sunshine, Silver Locket, and White Snowflake. Okay, so there's those. And then over here, we have the Paper Glaze Lux, And this one is the Twinkle Light Clear. This is Twinkle Lights Silver, Twinkle Lights Seas. And then this is Twinkle Lights Lime Soda. Did I read that one right? Okay, yeah, Twinkle Lights Clear. Okay, now how, how am I gonna show you? I don't know, but hold on. We're gonna figure this out. I have to move the phone charger cord. And let me grab my glass mat. If I can get to it. But there will be a video with a full demonstration of some things that I've, you know, actually made with it, etc. I think I just want to see now. <laughs> Use this piece of paper from the bag. Hold on. 
So I feel like I'm going to make a big mess. Okay. I hope. Did I even press record? Yep. Sorry. I'm moving the camera. Yes, I did. Okay. I have this. <laughs> it's part of packing. Just in case. And let me grab a brush. Because you just never know. I can't reach that far. Ugh. I'm reaching over a chair. Okay. Now. Now, now, now. So we want to see which colors should we test. Let's test this blue. And I think, are you supposed to shake these? Does it say? Does it say? I feel like you would shake them. I don't hear. A little ball. Okay. This has to be really boring for you guys. Sorry. But I want to test it out. Okay. Now. I don't know. We're just gonna try this and see. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work. That didn't work because I had too much on there. Okay. I wanted to see. So I think if you do this and those pros out there will say it in the comments. I wanted to see if you could just like, you know, flick it on with just a little bit. Instead of getting a paintbrush out to flick splatters, it's already too much on there. I can see it. But I think if you get better at it, you can. But they're droppers. I don't want to waste all my blue because this is too pretty. But you could just drop it on. Or let me drop it on the plate. I'm, I'm just making a mess now. Ooh -hoo. And you can just come in and pick it up from there if you're painting watercolors, I think. Uh, yep, they have, this has a shimmer to it. Oh, it's very pretty, though. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do some more full demonstration because this isn't demonstrating nothing. <laughs> Other than Tiffany knows how to make a mess. So we will have a full demonstration on that, but you can just use it as, you know, just water colors and just take, I like that you could just have this, take a little tiny drop because you see how much is still left on here. You could spritz some water on there, lighten it up, but I do know, like you could just take this paint um, on like cardstock in different colors and then do a die cut over it once it has dried, etc. Okay, so let's just set this down for a sec. I want to see. I need my paper towel. I want to see how these colors are and I'll just try to clean this really quick. color oh my so I do want to see how this goes on let's try this little thing it goes on white I do have a little bit of blue still on my brush so it might come through oh that is pretty so this is gonna be fun to test to see but being able to Put this even on like flowers too and they have places to go for tutorials which is awesome so I'm gonna play with this stuff this week I don't know if you guys can see how pretty nope it's too dark I'm sure but it's really pretty a foam green color and I'll probably come back through and do the little wax seal um, trick so that it doesn't, I don't know if these dry out, but I don't want to test it and see. But I can't wait to play with these colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's all this variety here. We're not done yet. Tiffany just had to had a squirrel moment and had to just try them out for a second. Okay, then. <laughs> oh my. 
my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep going. Okay. So the pouncers. I don't know if you haven't been paying attention, but everywhere, everyone's showing the pouncers. And ooh, I'm gonna take this off this brush. And I was able to play with them at the retreat or at the retreat at Creativation. And oh my gosh, they are so fun. So first, here's all the colors you can get. So here is the bright rainbow. So a pack of nine. You can get um, ocean blues, ocean greens, white, just for generic colors. Then you have your, what is called your fall pack, but it's like your pinks purple. And then our neutrals, which they are called the neutrals. So gray, brown, black. These are pouncers, pounce, pounce. So what we had used them for, we had made a card, which I don't have with me because somehow I had it with Tonya's card. So she has them, but we had a die cut. Um, we had the die cut, uh, I think it was called Hooray. And we had like, say these three, three color inks that kind of match those colors. They don't have to. Um, I will attach to my video, um, Jen Palmer from Scrapping Under the Influence showed just quickly a demonstration of how she uses the pouncers. But oh my gosh, they're so fun. Look at this. Like, can you stand just the cuteness? So what is so amazing about them, first of all, and again, there will be a video. I'm just showing you guys the unboxing of what's in here for me to play with. But they're, oh my gosh, they're squishy. But see, there's no edges, nothing. So we had our die cut that said, hooray. I had three colors. I wanted to do an ombre, pounce, the color, and the color goes on so nice with these. And then you can either use a different color that matches ink or just stay in the blue family. Get your other color. I would like dry, uh, not dry this off, but pounce this on a clean piece of paper first. Get the other color. Pounce, 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 pounce. I just like saying pounce. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh, love these. Now I need a cute little display to put these in because they're so adorable. Um, I think Jen had hers in um, like an acrylic tray or a clear, not tray, but like a, I don't even know what it was. I think it was like a drawer or something. But look at all these fun colors, first of all. And I'm not done. I'm not done. Because then there are these. They're so stinking cute. The little pint size. <laughs> so you have your pint size rainbows, bright rainbows. Look at, look at that. So cute. You could just have a little to go thing for when you travel. If you want these to be like your travel little. I mean, gosh, they're stinking cute. I can't stand it. You could have all white and then just put what color you use for like the ink on there. So you can do that. I just, I just got to show you because it's so stinking cute. Oh, and this one is nine too. Yeah, this is a nine pack. Where's the pink in this one? Oh yeah, it's right there. And it's just, oh my gosh. So this does not... Replace your blending brushes. Um, I think Jen and someone else. I don't know. But you can still ink the edges of your paper. Um, you just got to get, you know, it's just like practice with everything. You got to find what you like. Um, the more you pounce, obviously, the more saturated the color will be on um, whatever you're using. But these are amazing for stencils. So I've seen people use it on stencils. I've seen them use it on die cuts to color the die cuts. Um, and I mean, either way, who doesn't want to do this? We could say we're getting a workout as we're <laughs> crafting. We might need to switch arms and do 20 on that side and 20 on this side. I know, I'm a mess. I, if you guys don't know, I love little mini things. I just think these are so stinking cute. And I know some of you are going, but I have my other thing. They're not the same. These are different. 
and to be able to pounce on the stencils, which this is the year to break out things from your stash and use them. So I'm definitely going to break out some stencils and we will practice on that. And then I'll have some die cuts. But if you guys see anything specifically you want to know more information about or want me to demonstrate, let me know. I don't know if I'll be able to do everything in one video, but I will try. But I just, I'm playing with these first. Because I just, I can't. Like, that's my new thing this year. I'm pouncing. I'm just pouncing. Pick a fence. Adorable company. The people were so nice. The family was so nice. Um, and I already have some dies from them that I absolutely love. So hopefully, you know, Country Craft Creations will get in some of their dies and their stamp sets because they are fun um, to play with. But I will have everything linked below. This just released, um, what was it? I think Friday of last week? I don't even know. But it just hit the store. So a lot of fun stuff here. A lot of new things to try. But I know, you know, I will play with it first um, to show you guys what it looks like from that side. Um, but I can't, I just want these, you guys know me, I just want these on display in my room. I love, I just love displaying things in rainbow order. And just, it, you know, to me, that's the sunshine in my craft room. My art in my craft room is taking my actual supplies and making it the art piece. So these are going to be so fun. I just, I literally can't with these little minis. Like, stop it. If anything, at least get the minis. Because they, they're just so cute. And they're so little. And they make Tiffany talk like this for some strange reason. Okay, stop it, Tiffany. Stop it. Okay, was that every... Oh, nope, nope. There's one more thing in that box. I think one more thing. Oh, this is a must-have. Okay. So, this is a 10 by 10 paper inking palette. This thing is, um, it's not sticky, like a sticker sticky, but it's sticky. So, we were able to use these as well, their creativation, and it was awesome. So, I stuck down the, the base that I was going to pounce on. Um, I stuck that just on here. You just put it on there, and it sticks. It stays. You do your ink. You can clean it off. Let's see if it has... Yeah, so um, it's an all-in-one tool. It was created to be an all-in-one ink transferring service for paper crafters everywhere. So you definitely, you, I mean, there's a ton of stuff you can do. So it says it holds your paper, grasp and hold die cuts for inking techniques, keep stencils in place for easier use with less tape or temporary spray glue. Who does spray glue? Oh my gosh. Um, sticky surface for holding and organizing. Oh yeah, the ink pads. So on this, they had us, we had three ink pads each. They stuck them right here and they stayed the whole time. And then we had our little piece that we were pouncing on right there. This is definitely a must have. So Picket Fence Studios, I just, I can't. Like so much fun stuff. Just a cool and innovative way of thinking of, you know, different ways to craft. I just, and I, the pouncers. Have you guys figured out that I really like the pouncers? I don't know. Okay, but there you guys go. Oh my gosh, I don't even have room to put this on the table. This is the new brand launch. Um, Country Craft Creations has launched a lot of new brands and they're still going. Um, so a lot, you guys are gonna see a lot more um, videos, just of me showing what is new come into country craft creations and uh stay tuned i i'm just gonna say either if i have a video with this stuff it'll be at the end of the week because i do have the wax seals that i want to play with and do a demonstration on and i have still some design team projects that i have to wrap up i believe you guys have heard me talk about a thousand times um and then i if it's not this weekend then it'll be beginning of next week i can't boop, boop, boop. So April, what is that week? Three, April week three. I for sure would have more, but I'm gonna try to bust some things out this week. So just, you know, let me know. 
Let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments. I love seeing what you guys say, even though sometimes I don't always get back right away. I still see them for the most part if they're within a couple days of me posting. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was a lot of fun just seeing the new stuff that is out there. I had fun um, visiting with this company. This is just, there's so much fun here. And just stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of a lot of things going on at Country Craft Creations. So um, definitely uh, like, yep, I can't talk. Leave a comment. If you like the products, what was your favorite? Do you already have some? What do you use them on? And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, as always, you're going to want to. Because why not have some laughter in your life? I'm your girl. <laughs> or at least I just laugh at myself because I just think I'm funny. But <laughs> go ahead and hit that bell to get notifications. And that way you'll know when I pop up a video demonstrating some of these new amazing products. And might even at some point, I think I gotta order some, I gotta see if these fit in the fixtures I just ordered for my sequence mixes. But I think I want these displayed on my wall. So more to come on that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will leave the links below. Um, and again, it's Country Craft Creations and the new brand that has come into Contra Craft Creations is Picket Fence. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.